Weekend is here, which means movies, movies, and more movies. Woohoo! And whether you're looking for a family friendly fair, star studded historic drama, or something you can really sink your teeth into, there's a number of new options available at the cinemas. And to break it down for us, we are calling in the expert, Devin D. O'Leary from the Weekly Alibi. Devin, good to see you again. Good we haven't you. seen you for a couple weeks, so welcome back to the Thank Style you. Studio. Yes. So the first one uh, we're talking about, a number of movies coming out this weekend, uh, historic drama mm -hmm. with big names. Yes, definitely. Really big names. Talking about the momentous men. Uh, and we've got the trailer here, so let's take a look at it. You want to get into the war? Monuments, man. I'm to put a team together and do our best to protect buildings, bridges, and art before the Nazis destroy everything. How many men? Six. Jesus. Well, with you at seven. That's much better. So you want to go into a war? And by momentous, I mean monuments. <laughs> monuments. <laughs> That's all right. So yeah, this really great yeah. cast: George yeah. Clooney, Matt Damon, Bill Murray, yes. uh, Bob Balaban. Uh, it's great guys. Yeah, and it's uh, it's written and directed by Clooney as well, mm -hmm. uh, who's done some fantastic films. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one is based on a true story. Uh, this actually happened during World War II. There was a group of soldiers who were sent into Europe to. Uh, rescue a lot of the classic art that was being destroyed by the Nazis to sort of preserve the culture. Um, there was a fantastic documentary done on it a few years ago, and this is sort of the, the, the fictional version uh, of what happened. Um, it's a little bit more of a history lesson at points, uh, a little bit of a tour through a museum. Um, it doesn't have a lot of action. It's a little talky, but then again, I think you might expect that from, from say, uh, Good Night and Good Luck, uh, which Clooney did previously. Um, so it's a little, a little highbrow, but it's got some fun to it. Um, I think uh, certainly if you if you appreciate art or if you like World War II history, it's a good film for that. Interesting mix there. And also opening this weekend is Vampire Academy, so let's take a look at that one. Professor Gretzky? Yes. Who, who is she? She looks just like Mary. She is your vampire Viagra. <gasps> you okay? <gasps> what? <gasps> that was a bad one. She's turning her sorority into vampires. <laughs> oh my god. She's out of control. I'm gonna have to stop her. Let us help you. So this one's kind of like Harry Potter meets Twilight. Yeah, definitely. Somebody in Hollywood was or paying attention teens. to what was making money. <laughs> yeah. um, it's based on a, a young adult book series that, that's been very popular, and they've been translating those like crazy lately. Um, it's directed by the guy who did Mean Girls, which oh. it's a little bit of that flavor, too. Okay. Um, but it's definitely, if you're not between the ages of 12 and 16, this is not <laughs> really aimed at you. Gotcha. Right. Um, so definitely. if you were, you were a fan of the Lost Boys or something, Probably not your favorite. <laughs> your, 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 your period has long since <laughs> passed. What if we long like passed. Mean Girls a lot? It, you should. It's a great film. Yeah. This is not in that caliber. Not this is okay. definitely just, I think it's a little My more little of a... sister. Yeah, My definitely. middle school sister. More aimed at younger folks and people who maybe don't have a lot of history of movies behind them. Gotcha. Uh, very familiar. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Well, and then, of course, uh, the other one that I'm excited about um, and probably Brittany too. We both have kids about. Uh, I think they're actually three they're, days they're apart. Three days age. apart. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Two year olds. We're talking about the Lego Movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which honestly, I got to admit, I'm excited about. Honestly, yeah. It looks so funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Kind of nerdy about it. Let's take a look at the trailer here. Ready to start the day. Jumping jacks. Hit them. One. Two. Three. I am so pumped up. Yes. Overpriced coffee. That's thirty-seven dollars. Awesome! Oh my gosh, I love this song. It's very cool. So tell us a little bit about this one. Uh, it's a it's a stop motion animation and CGI combination film using real Legos. Um, it's got a million guests. The main guest voices. The main actor is Chris Pratt from uh, Parks and Recreation, uh -huh. who's fantastic. He's kind of everywhere these days, and uh, he plays an ordinary Lego minifigure who's called upon to save the world from an evil dictator. Um, and they just had a ball making this film. It's mm -hmm. got just all these guest stars, Batman, Superman, mm -hmm. uh, all these other Lego characters, and uh, they just had so much fun with them. It's a great, it's a great film on its own, mm -hmm. and it's a really funny parody of action movies and Hollywood. Um, it's, it's really, I think, one of the most fun films you'll see, certainly this whole chunk of the year. I, I highly really? recommend it, yeah. That's great. That one. And you also have a really busy weekend going on at the Guild, right? Yes. Uh, every other weekend at the Guild Cinema in Knob Hill, I'm there hosting uh, Alibi Midnight Movie Madness. Uh, so twice a month we're there bringing people all kinds of outrageous, out there kind of films. And uh, this weekend we've got a film called Knights of Badassdom, which we're premiering. <laughs> 
That's very, very excited. Cool. Very excited for this one. I like it. Uh, it's a story of a bunch of friends who go out in the woods every weekend and uh, do live action role playing. They dress up as yeah. warriors and wizards and stuff and, and fight each other. And uh, one weekend they accidentally uh, summon a demon from hell and <laughs> then have to use their powers, which they don't really have, uh -huh. to fight this demon. Um, and uh, stars uh, Ryan Quanton from uh, True Blood. Uh -huh. And Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, uh -huh. so a really nice cast. Uh, great sort of horror-based comedy. That's great. Yeah, and of course the Guild Cinema, just a fantastic local cinema. You Absolutely. Want, we always encourage shopping local. You can't get much more local cinema than you, than at the Guild. No, it's the last independent theater left yeah. in Albuquerque, so yeah. we, we always encourage people to go there because they're showing the kind of stuff that you just don't get to see anyplace right. else, and that's why I've been doing Midnight Movies there for almost 10 years. Right. Right. Um, just bringing really cool stuff that people yeah. don't get to see. And then, of course, uh, last but not least, the Italian Film and Culture Festival going on. Yeah, that starts this Saturday. goes through the 16th. And that's going to be playing all over town at Chemo, South Broadway Cultural Center, uh, African American Pavilion, and for about three or four days at the Guild itself. Uh, and that's, uh, there's dinners, there's movies, there's a bocce ball tournament, all kinds of stuff. And they're doing really? a Really? Bocce ball tournament? I know about that. <laughs> Get that's in cool. on that. Yeah, no And it's kidding. all for a good cause, It's too. all for a good cause. It's yeah. uh, the hospital, children's hospital. Yeah. Um, and uh, you can go on their website and uh, check out all the events. It's, it's more than a week of events. Fantastic. Um, and I think it's nine feature films, all modern right. Italian films that they're showing. So right. a lot of premieres here for, for the United States, which That's is very great. exciting. That's fantastic. Devin, very thank cool. you so much for coming in. Appreciate Pleasure. it. We will have links to alibi.com on our website at KRQE under the CASA tab. Well, we have some